This is Lisa Loeb, and you're on BackstageAccess.com, where the real show begins. Backstagexus.com, and you're here at NAM 2014 at Daisy Rock with Lisa Loeb. Lisa, how are you Hello. doing? I'm good. I'm great. She just got done with the signing, and we want to talk about your relationship with Daisy Rock because you've been, you know, you, you had a long relationship with yeah. Daisy Rock. So tell us about it. Well, ever since the beginning when I found out about their company, I was really excited about it because, first of all, the guitars look really cool. Mm -hmm. And as a, a musician, it's fun to play instruments that inspire you, you know, when right. you just see them. But I also like the philosophy that, that the company has. That um, it's a philosophy where they're trying to inspire girls to play. Young Unfo girls. Yeah, young girls. Right. Unfortunately, you know, even when I was a kid, it's true that the that when you go into a guitar store, they really don't want you picking up the guitars and playing them. It might be a little different now, but especially as a woman and a young girl, I just didn't feel super comfortable. I don't know if that's just the tone of you know the way things are, and maybe things have gotten a little bit better, but. We're still at a place, I think, where you have to encourage kids, and in particular girls, to play guitar, whether it's um, some of the guitars might fit their bodies better, they might be more interested in them aesthetically, right. um, but they're still equivalent to other guitars. They play really well, you know what I mean? Right. And any particular models that you wanted to talk about or it strikes your fancy that you really like playing or... Yeah, well, a couple of things. Some of the acoustic guitars, I love the ones that are painted different colors. Okay. Because, you know, I love playing gu acoustic guitars that look like wood guitars, but one of the cool things about electric guitars is they're always painted really awesome right. colors. But it's it's not as often, it's much more rare that you find an acoustic guitar that has fun colors. So I think that's cool. I also like the miniature, smaller, you know, smaller guitars that are the electric guitars that are easy to plug in and play. And they've got hearts and they've got... Um, the, the flower, the daisy, and now they've got the flying V, which is awesome. And also any of their their really sparkly guitars. I'm a huge fan of red sparkle and the and the larger flake sparkle. So to be able to find that in so many different models with Daisy Rock is inspiring to me. Very like you were saying, aesthetic. I mean, a lot of uh, vivid colors. Everything grabs you when you walk around this booth. This is the one booth I NAM that grabs your attention. Yeah. I think when you walk by, you know. And I mean, you really should be able to make music on pretty much anything. Mm. You know, you can sit and make music with your fingers on the dinner table, but <laughs> it really does inspire you when you see your guitar sitting in your room and you want to pick it up because it looks so cool. Okay, one more. I know every, everybody wants your attention, but one last question before we wrap up Camp Lisa, because that means yeah. so much to you. And I want to, like, you know, talk about a little bit about yeah. Camp Lisa, what it means. And well, Camp Lisa, I started at Camp Lisa Foundation, which. I set up to help send kids to to summer camp, mm -hmm. underserved kids, kids who might not normally have the opportunity to go. I think it, it was such a big part of growing up for me, being able to try new things I'd never tried before, spending time outside, meet people. Um, I think at summer camp, it's a place where you can learn how to be a leader, and right. you can also learn to be a member of the community. Mm -hmm. And I think it's an important part of, of growing up. It's also, yeah. yeah. And it's also a place where, you know, school is such a big emphasis. And for me, school is also very important growing up. But this is a place where you learn how to be a person. And I think that's really important part of a child's education and upbringing. So um, through the sales of my Camp Lisa CD, through the sales of some coffee I made, a okay. Lisa Love coffee okay. blend called Wake Up, okay. um, and a couple of other projects I do, I try to raise money to help send kids to summer camp. Okay, and where can more people find out information about maybe buying a coffee and donating? Yeah, people can find out about anything I'm doing, especially Camp Lisa Foundation. Um, if you look up lisalobe.com, okay. and you'll be able to find the Camp Lisa section on my website, or you can just look up camplisa.com on its own. Okay. Well, we thank Lisa Lowe for taking the time to talk to us at BackstageAccess.com. Check out Daisy Rock and all these beautiful guitars, and go to lisalobe.com to find out more information about Lisa Lobe and Camp Lisa. BackstageAccess.com, thank you for taking the time. want to